Well, welcome to another Kayak Fishing Addict adventure. I was recently asked a question by an astute subscriber. He said, Ron, I notice on your videos, when you go out, you always catch fish. But when I go out, I don't always catch fish. Fish on, guys, fish on, fish on. Look at him go. So why do I catch fish more frequently than he does? We talked it through. I'm gonna share a tip that I gave him that I haven't shared before on this channel. Stay tuned and let's go see what we can catch. Well, to my longtime subscribers, I have to apologize. I've been giving you all the secrets, but I forgot one key important secret. So as I was having this conversation with this subscriber, he was parroting back everything that he had seen on all the videos, and he watched a lot of them. He watched even the older videos. And he said, you want moving water, you want two hours before high tide to two hours after high tide. You want to look for places where they can hide. He knew all of my secrets. But in that parroting back, I realized I forgot to say one thing. And that, was, that made the difference for him between the days that I go out and the days I don't. And the reason I say that is because the metric I forgot to share with all of you is called tidal coefficient. So two hours before and after high tide, that's a general rule. However, if the tidal coefficient is low, that means your high tide and low tide, the amplitude is uh, not very high. So there's not much difference between high tide and low tide. There's always going to be some difference, but not much difference. What you want is you want that tidal coefficient ideally to be north of 80, sometimes north of 90, but in anything north of 80, and the amplitude difference between high tide and low tide is gonna be dramatic, and that's what you're really looking for. You're gonna get water movement either way, like right now, the tidal coefficient this morning is 49. That's why I say I would never really go out today, but I just had some time and I wanted to get out and fish and enjoy the great outdoors. But look for that tidal coefficient to be north of 80. That said, you can always catch fish. I'm gonna to try to prove that today. <laughs> Let's go see what we can catch. I'm gonna toss in the Mirror Lure Mirror Dean 17MR. It's a bite size twitching bait. Got a green back here. 17MR, big red eyes. And I do this, especially in dark water because the twitching attracts the fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I had a bite. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Took him a while to find it. I had a bite and it took him a while to find it, guys. I don't know what this is. It's probably a poor man's tarpon. Oh yeah, ladyfish, big ladyfish. All right. Oh, and he got a lot of it. This is a pretty huge ladyfish there. Look at this guy here. There's our lady, poor man's tarpon. And he is going to be good cut bait if I was fishing live bait. There we go. Got my bait back. All right. All right, guys, there's our ladyfish. Pretty long one. Just gonna let him go. Definitely don't keep the ladies. Well, one fish in the boat. Let's keep going and see what else we can catch. All right, I'm gonna give you a visual representation of this tidal coefficient. Now, obviously, the current's moving. Yeah, we're at high tide. But if you look here, you see off to the left here, you see these islands? Those islands, when the tidal coefficient is 80, they're a foot underneath water. That's the difference with the tidal coefficient. It's the amplitude of the tide itself. Fish on, 
saw him get it. I saw him chasing it. <laughs> there was a fish chasing it. And I paused long enough. Fish on, guys. This looks like a red. Nice one. Oh, he was chasing it. Right past the kayak. He didn't even pay attention. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, might have caught our redfish for today. Man, he flew right by the kayak. And that's what caused me to pause it. I don't know. He, let's see. Definitely a red. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's get you up here. He's going to have a lot of energy because he bit it so close. Let's see if we can get him in the net here. I don't really like putting this in the net. Oh, yeah, he swallowed it. He swallowed it. There we go, guys. Here's our redfish. Nice. Nice guy. Oh, swallowed it. Face first. There's our fish. Nice red. There's some oyster bed here. Let's bring him up and see. Might be about 19 or so. Oh, yeah, right on 19. 19 inches. All right, let's get you off these grips. How about that? There he goes. Nice kick. All right, fish number two in the boat. Let's keep going. Find a pocket. Ooh, there was something there. Something. Did I get one, guys? Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> he had it in his mouth? Oh, yeah. And this might be. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. This is a big redfish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. The 17 MR. I am in very thin water here. So he is trying. I felt him take it in his mouth, but he didn't really tug on it. So let's see what we got. He is in the grass. Oh, yeah. He's taking off. Yeah, nicer red. Definitely a red fish. Found him. Found him. Schooling up in the mud, so kind of picked up stuff. And here he is underneath the boat again. There he is. A little bit thicker, this one. Oh, yeah, he's a big one. Blue tail. Let's see if we can just get him on the, oh man, he took my bait down. Oh my goodness, he took it down. Let's see here. I've got him close to the boat. I don't see my leader. Let's see. There we go. Here he is, guys. Oh yeah, that's a nice, nice red fish. Very good red. Boy, this one's got some weight to him too. Give you a weight on him. Oh, yeah, he is four. It's like three and three quarter pound red. And wait till you see where this bait is. I hope he's not too big. Looks long. There he is, grunting, so he's a male. Yeah, it's gonna take some surgery to get that guy out. The mirror lure is way down in there, and anytime both hooks are so far buried, we'll probably end up keeping this guy anyway. Okay, guys, well, this one, unfortunately, is hooked so far back in his crushers. That was me not feeling his bite. I'm gonna end up keeping him anyway, but let's just see, make sure he's not over slot, in which case I just have to rush and try to cut it out of him, but let's uh, get him on the board. Glad I didn't keep that other one. Let's see here, there's his nose. Oh yeah, he's good. 
22 and a quarter inch. Okay guys, well here's our fish. He took it down so far, I'm gonna have to cut it out of him. I'm gonna keep end up keeping this fish. He is a 22 and a quarter inch redfish though. Nice, nice size red, beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And he just took it down too far. Let me get him ready. I'll come back and we'll keep going and see what else we can catch. Lots of runoff. Oh, there was something that went after it. Fish on, guys, fish on, fish on. Look at him go. That's a red right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was great. Good advantage to see him. There's a big red. Big red. He went after it, then he lost it, and I just left the bait there. He turned around and he came back and I think I hooked him pretty good, so should be able to release him. I've got to let him go. This is a third, third red. I can only keep one. This one's a big one too. <laughs> Fish on. There he is right there. Fish on. Redfish number three, I think, and lady, plus one lady. That's four fish today. He shot out of there. Oh my goodness right at the bait, and then he lost it for a second, and I just left it there. Yeah, nice red. Let's see if we can grab him here. There's our leader, there's our, oh yeah, you've got it on the outside corner of the mouth. Hey buddy, get you on the grips here. Get you up here. Make your debut. Here's our red fish. Nice keeper size. There he is right there. Really good size. I'm gonna weigh him and get him on the board. Let's see here. He's three and a quarter pound. There you go. All right, this mirror lure mirror dean is doing the trick today. This is redfish number three. Just gonna keep him in the water. I definitely have to let him go kept that other one that was, uh, took the Mirrodine down too far. Gut hooked, that's what we call that. This guy, he's a big one too. He's gonna probably be in the 20s. Let's see here. Well, if he lets me, lets me get him on the board here. There we go. Oh yeah, 21. 21 and a quarter, 21 and a quarter inch red. Nice redfish right there. Fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> Another fish. Boy, they are out today. I saw him come and get it too. This is a big one. What kind of fish is this though? Oh, it's a uh, jack. I think I sideswiped him. He came to get it and then let it go. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a jack crevail. I got you, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Oh no. He went after it and he's like, I regret it. Got it anyway. All right, guys. He's gonna hurt himself if I don't get him off of here. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you ripped yourself, didn't you? you ripped yourself, but not too bad. There we go. All right, well, just catching fish today. 
good. All right. Get him back in the water here. There you go, guys. Nice little jack. I'll let him go. He's grunting. Well, that's why I think I catch more fish. I just go out when the tidal coefficient is more ideal for the day. But today, it's only 49, and I put, I think, five or six fish in the boat. It was a good day of fishing. I enjoyed it. I hope you did, too. You can catch more fish if you follow all my catches, tips, and tricks by becoming a subscriber to this channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm Kayak Fishing Addict. This is YouTube. I'll see you in a few days. Oh, nice manatee right there. Huh. He's kind of chewing his way through the marsh.